Hello everyone, Amelia and Moore here. Today is day four out of 30 for the talking to the camera for 30 days challenge. Today's prompt is teaching you guys a skill or interest of mine. Now, if you know me generally, you know I'm obsessed with theme parks and other stuff. And while yeah, that's probably what I would would be easiest to teach you guys about and I don't have any other ideas on what to teach about I want to kind of be like no no that's probably what I'm going to talk about but honestly this prompt is a little hard for me because I feel like a lot of the stuff that I know I don't think about directly like it just pops into my head and I know about it like if someone asks me and then I'm like yeah I know but then when it's on the spot like this I'm like no thoughts head empty crickets are playing their beautiful music <sighs> today is a very sleepy day too I was like I'm gonna get up have a great start to my day at like nine o'clock no didn't happen so I'm still kind of uh, um it's like three something right now I got up at like 11 30 but um did a lot of cleaning today um maybe that's what I'll teach you about so even though my room is genuine it's like a mess like probably I wish I could just burn it, start over, type shit. Um, I love organizing and folding my clothes a certain way. Um, Marie Kondo did a book, um, it was actually a manga version of her book, like a condensed version, and it shows you how to fold clothes in a certain way to help save space, since in Japan they don't have a lot of space in their apartments, in their whatever. And so a lot of her stuff is like how to declutter and how to maximize your space. And her way of folding is a very, very interesting way. And it's basically to fold it so it's compact and then you put it vertical in your drawers or in your closet, whatever. Um, so I've, I've folded my stuff that way for since like 2020. And it kind of helps with that like ADHD thing because I can see everything instead of stacking all my t-shirts in a stack and not knowing what's at the bottom. I will say it, I think it's probably about the same amount of space if not like it takes up more room to fold it the way she does just with my drawers specifically. Plus with American clothes, we're bigger people, we have different materials kind of, so it's probably it ends up being different but I still like being able to see everything that I have and color coordinating it when I first started I color coded my drawers in my dresser I don't do that anymore I just have colors and neutrals for like shirts in my drawer because otherwise I think I would go insane <sighs> Excuse me, I haven't had, I've had a little bit of caffeine today, but not nearly enough that was needed for today. Um, but yeah, um, and then the Japanese believe that everything has like a spirit and stuff. So instead of like folding your socks and having like the elastic be stretched out, um, Marie Kondo says to roll it because you're not, you're giving the elastic, you're giving the garment a rest, which I kind of find really interesting and cool. Um, socks are one of my least favorite things to deal with because I have a lot of them and they're kind of hard to get rid of because like it's soon, as soon as you get rid of them, you're gonna have to buy new ones. Like it's that type of vibe. But one of my things, and that's part of the betterment-ness of this whole thing, is I'm going to be downsizing a lot, hopefully. My friends said they would help me do my, like, the storage unit. 
because it's a big storage unit and it's just hard to do when it's one not indoors two there's not another one we can rent for a month to put the stuff we've already sorted into so it kind of requires a whole team of people to kind of pull everything out figure out what is what and then put it back in and we've been wanting to do that basically since we moved here so two two and a half years and I just haven't because we I haven't we haven't had the people or the time or stuff's come up you know but yeah so I plan to be downsizing a lot hopefully I have a really hard time getting rid of things because I'm a very sentimental and like I you can say I'm a hoarder I'm a lot better than I used to be about it, but there are some times where it's like, I can't get rid of anything. It's like that mental block. Um, so hopefully, I think I'm going to request the manga from the library or something, buy it offline maybe, I don't know. Because that book really, really helps me with um, going through stuff. Because... It's like a step-by-step -step process to go through things. You like go through the sentimental stuff last. But for me, a lot of like everything is sentimental in a way because, oh, someone gave me that. Oh, that's from this time of my life. And it's like, I need to do everything on a day where I don't feel a singular emotion, which is hard, especially right now. So, um, I don't even know if this is teaching. This is kind of just me talking which isn't anything new. Um, but a lot of my process for what I'm gonna go through stuff is also, there's this content creator on TikTok and I cannot remember her name for the life of me, but I love her, she's so cool. Um, but her thing, she like rents clothes for a month and then you either have the option to return them or buy them. And so her thing at the end of each month is she has to style the object of clothing four ways at least and if she like struggles at all it's it she doesn't keep it now granted I would have a little bit of leeway with my own items rather than items I don't even own technically but it's a really great philosophy to have like if you can't style something more than two ways three ways do you really need it like yeah you have your like summer basics and stuff like that but there's just there's something about having a flexible closet and having staple pieces that has been really calling to me recently and so I've been kind of trying to figure out my own style while doing this and it's just kind of a crude random stuff like I have stuff that I haven't even worn yet because it's either been not the right occasion or not the right weather so I'm really hoping this winter is like nice weather-wise because I have some outfits that I want to try out but it's literally too hot for me to even think about trying them on inside. But yeah, I just... Marie Kondo is a very, very helpful resource. And honestly, her teachings and stuff really changed how I look at everything and it's like when I'm in these ruts I really like to read that book and like look at that book and stuff um because it kind of gives me a refresher and I'm like oh yeah this is possible it doesn't have to be this way but sometimes it's really hard to do these kind of things alone especially when you're like me and you have that like bit of ADHD or distractedness and stuff like that so and like I want to do better I really do and it's, it's just so hard sometimes and so that's kind of part of this whole journey is trying to figure out what works for me because some things just don't and it's like I wish I could be a maximalist but with the way I am I don't think I could be and that's also probably just like a generational like trauma response type of thing too because my mom's kind of the same way um so, I don't know. Like, I have all these Pinterest boards of, like, what I want my house and room to look like. And I'm like, do I really want that much clutter and stuff? I don't think I do. 
And it's just like, what do I do about that? Because yeah, I could have a couple bookshelves with all my collectibles and then, but that leaves so much other things. Like I have posters and I don't even know what I have. And that's part of the problem with the storage unit, you know? It's like, I have stuff in there that I, I genuinely don't remember what's in there. And so that's why, like, I want to go through it and get rid of stuff and, like, only keep what I know I want for my future room and home and all that. Because you never know. Plus, it'll just be easier to move with less stuff. Like, it's hard. It's hard. You know, cleaning and downsizing is very hard and it's very emotionally taxing. So I guess I kind of want the lesson of the day, the lesson of the video. It's just ask for help if you need or want it. Don't feel obligated to ask, but also don't go through it thinking you're completely alone because you're not. It just takes a small team of people to get you where you want to go. And it's hard to ask for that. It's hard to find that. Like, it's hard to find people who would help you do what you need to do but you literally can't do so i guess that's the lesson for the day is to trust yourself and trust your friends ask for help when you need it so with that um this video was kind of a rambler but i hope you learned something from it whether it was something about me or i don't know but i hope you guys have a great day uh comment a lesson below comment your favorite interest or something below and i will see you all tomorrow for day five much love amelia